What's up folks? We're in California and we're eating at some of the sketchiest restaurants for 24 hours. This first one we stumbled upon by driving by. It says it's called the Pandaria, which I'm guessing is bread, but there's signs that have money all over it, so it might be a bank. Let's go find out. Oh my god. Hey there, hola, como estas? Oh, they got hot food too. This ain't your run in the middle type of spot here. Um, I guess we're going off of photos here. So let's get un desayunos panes con frijoles, un chunchitos, un carne nachas, in un uh, tamales. Man, we gotta try the concha over here. Yeah. Si, y un concha blanca, por favor. Now we're really just gonna order everything this damn place has. Like they even have mailboxes for you in the back if you need it. I'm really confused. I'm like, is it a market? Is it a bank? It's, it's a little bit of everything. Mailbox place? I think it's also, oh, cash only, please. Oh, sh oh I got some, I got some. Oh, sh no. oh there's ATM right there. Oh. Yeah. It's a lot of food, you know, we're, we're taste testers here. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You speak English? Yes, I can. You made me struggle that long when you <laughs> couldn't just help me out here? Yeah, no, it's good that you practice. I guess, I guess. <laughs> One thing to listen about here in California is people think everyone's really mean just because we've been saying in the South they're really nice. Well, this is the Latin community, and the Latin community is so sweet, nice people, so they are not included in that LA is bad people only by. You want to pick you? No, no. No sugar? Okay, fine. Okay, Let's good. do it. We need that. We need that in our bodies. I haven't been having a lot of greens lately. Okay. I, I moved to Nashville. All I eat is fried chicken. Okay. Quick question for you. What is this place that we're in it's right now? Oh, it's a bakery. Organic bakery. Okay, got it. And then do you guys do like money exchanges? Money exchange. Okay. What is your guys' rating in here? Like, you know, they come around, they rate the restaurants? Well, they do letters here. Oh, there you go. You got so an A in here. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Handling money and bread. All yeah, different types of bread, am I right? <laughs> All right, let's get to trying this. All right, folks, the food is arriving, and honestly, this looks like home style as yeah. you can get. And she said it's a bakery, so that means the bread. bread? Oh my God, feel oh. it, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my get, God. Get, get a shot, get a shot, get oh a shot, God. ready? Oh my, oh my God. God, it's fresh oh bread. God. We just got out of the gym. Let's start with some sugar to get us back rushed up. Do you want to rip a piece? Or do you want to go same time? Okay, I like that. Mm, I haven't had one of those in like six months. See, how do you usually get those from the Viatis? Like, this is homemade mm. bunch out right here. All right, so what do we hit next? We hit the oh, tamales delicious. or the sandwiches? Tamales. So with these tamales, like I've never seen tamales made like this. Usually they have that masa yeah, around this it. This is like a green. This is like a whole green leaf. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm gonna try chicken. Jake's gonna try beef. See what this is all about. Oh my God. That is a different type of tamale right there. So soft, tender, falls apart in my mouth. Whoa. And it's a tapatio. Whoa. That's insane. That's the greenest I'm gonna try salsa that, beef. that chicken was really tasty too. That salsa's bomb. Is it? Yeah. It looks like slime. Salsa brava it's called. I think I love these video series that we do. That's gas. I, I've oh never God. experienced like homemade tamales. I always thought the ones we got from like the family were homemade. No, they're frozen. Those were fake. Yeah, now I realize. Mm. Alright, so now for the sandwich. This is like the epitome of breakfast right here. This is a breakfast sandwich. It's got I can't tell if there's like bean, black if it's beans, beans it or it's like. uh, mole. It's got crema, it's got egg. Let's try it. Oh my god, that bread. The bread is insanely fluffy. There's cheese in here as well. You bite into this thing like biting into a cloud. Pass that salsa. Right, I'm gonna throw some out here too. We're Mexican, salsa on everything. Listen, that's the thing about being born a Mexican. You don't choose this life, it chose you. Me, dude. The bread is as, as clean and biting into it, as creamy as the cheese or the, the crema inside. It's literally like you're walking on a cloud. I'm gonna come a back cloud. and buy just a bunch of bread from here. So this next thing looks more like the classic tamale. But it's thick. But it's thick. It's, it's like, like a, a big baseball. Ball. Go right down the middle with it. Oh my god. Filled with cheese. That's Those chicken. chicken and cheese and oh my god. I think I'm gonna oh. just pick it up and take a bite of it. I'm gonna put sauce on mine now. I wanna taste it as is first. Here goes nothing. That's a lot of that mice masa. It's very thick, like the normal, typical tamales that you'd get. I think that one's my least favorite, though. Too much masa going on. Like, I prefer the classic tamales. So she hooked us up with a dessert. We don't know what it is. It's really warm and nice. Let's see what's inside of it. Oh, it's just bread. So it's got sesame seeds on it. 
it has a hard wow. outside, but the inside is doughy as well. ever. It's so doughy. That's really tasty, but I think I honestly have my heart set on the kolcha. Mm. It's subtly sweet. It's not too sweet. It's just like the perfect amount of just sweet, but mm. not going overboard. This, on the other hand, you're going overboard, but I love it. I am happy. While we wait for our last dish, this is a great time to show you this amazing hoodie that I'm rocking from BrendanTaylor.com. Listen, guys, you picking up something on the website really helps support us, and that allows us to do bigger and better videos. So if you want us to go more extreme, travel more, pick up some merch and show your support to the channel, BrendanTaylor.com. Appreciate it. It's juice time. Look at this, guys. This is the super green juice. I don't drink this crap, but I am today. That's not horrible. It's, it's not a little horrible. sour. You can definitely tell it's like greens only, no sugar, none of that bull crap. Probably extremely good for you. It's a little different. It's like a hydrated water. Let's do this. Okay, so these things are literally like thick tortillas. Oh wow, it's like a pita chip. With meat on top of it and some salsa and some, yeah, it's just like a basically a dip and go, but you don't need to dip it. Mm. Oh, Check this out, you guys. It's literally like a thick, thick, thick corn tortilla. The meat is juicy. The salsa is good. It's like a nice, flavorful hot sauce that's not too hot. The dough is really, really nice in there. Better than I've ever had anything, had anything like this. Like this. Yeah, I oh. know. I think after this dish, I might actually come back for it. I want to let you know that it took us two hours to find this place driving around up and down the streets. It's not easy, but when we find it, it's rewarding. It's so rewarding. I got the rose going let you over here. I'm just going to give it a little slick. Yeah, you just go for it. I don't want that. Oh my god. So good. Oh, it's warm. Oh, that's something that reminds me of grandma used to make. Uh -huh. I miss my grandma. It's like oatmeal Thank with you. milk and cinnamon. Stop now, I'm done. Okay, you guys. Wow, I'm utterly impressed. I hope we can keep this streak going and just keep impressing ourselves with some hidden sketchy ass spots. Let's see what we got for lunch, come on. It's lunchtime, you guys, and how excited are you? We're having teriyaki at this spot, okay? This is the type of spot you catch hepatitis A, B, or C, so just be careful, keep your eyes peeled. Let's just hope it's not teriyaki sushi. It's like a family thing. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey there, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. Can I get one of these Tori bowls with the grilled chicken? Yeah. Do you have like shrimp and steak? I have this right here. And one side extra of teriyaki sauce. Oh, okay. And then that's all. Yeah, no. First thoughts. The outside is run down to no end. Like the sign literally says Teriyaki Plus is like There's just only a couple an letters. I and an e, yeah. None of the furniture out here matches, like, uh, which is fine. I mean, it gives it more homey vibe, don't get me wrong. Hopefully it hits. I mean, the people were nice inside. It's just I mean, there's no screens that have like anything. Like futuristic restaurants, like modern day restaurants have screens and it has the yeah. images and stuff. This is just like printed on, stuck into the wall. You got funny because of me, I think. Because <laughs> he, Jake used to not be funny. And then I trained him. I trained him with all my skill. <laughs> oh, this is funny, dude. Not you wear it. I smell it. Wow. Thank you. You said this one's a hot one? Yes. And this is the regular one? Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. The food is here. And let me tell you, this looks good. Oh. It actually comes with a good amount of shit. Like crab ragoon, comes with like a deep fried potato or something, possibly. Shrimp, steak. I mean, damn. I'm ready to get this going, get this tried. So. Jake's going classic teriyaki all over his bowl, which I can get behind, but I want to try it first as is. And he's going chilly. He has no regrets. Let's try it. I'm going to just dunk some of this into their house-made hot teriyaki sauce. Oh, that teriyaki sauce is dang. This whole meal is dang. I'm being amazingly surprised here in California. You forgot how good the food I was, forgot. Huh? I've been so used to the southern just normalities. I forgot what real good food tastes like. Mm. Mm. Another steak. Let's see if their steak's any good. I mean, coming out of a place that literally looks like Taco, mm. Taco Bell in the 90s. A bit chewy, but still damn good. My chicken is like crispy. The rice is perfectly cooked. We're good to go. For $7.99, that is a delicious bowl right there. Wow. Mm. For $7, that's unbelievable. It looks nice on the outside. You're gonna pay extra money. Yeah. But look a little sus on the, the outside. They know they can't charge a lot. They can't charge a lot. <laughs> that's the motto. Cheap food, great prices. Mm. Sketch spots. No, this isn't even a grab or a goon. This is just like a, what, a dumpling. I guess I got a dumpling with mine. Oh, that is. Cabbage. Is it good? Definitely better. Oh, uh -huh. I got a little salad thrown in mine as well. Let's see what it's working with. It does have a white sauce to it that is dripping like Kamasa Young Guy. 
but it tastes mm. like common salmon guy. If it does, it's rather sweet. So two full men, full again for only $22. I like that. I would be back here. Definitely would come back. So let's see what we got for dinner. And we'll go from there. Let's get out of here. Come on. All right, folks, we're at our third sketchy location for the day. This is Munchbox. Seems like there's some people waiting in line, so it's got to be maybe good. Let's go get this checked out and we'll see what they serve. Come on. All right, so what, what should we try? We've not, yeah. We haven't had it. Right here, double hit. The double, double hick. Double hick. Yeah. We'll get one of them with chili. And then what, what is this next option? Is that really the main uh, option? Yeah, there's the chili fries, and then you got your hot dogs. Should chili we get fries. an Eastern and a Western, or what? Yeah, let's do a Western as well, and then you want to try chili fries? chili fries? And then chili fries. Um, on that Western, do you want cheese? Yeah, why not? How much is the total? Uh, let me see. Thank you so much. You can keep the change. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, guys. Yo. That right there is a chili cheeseburger if i've ever seen one good lord have mercy on my soul okay first off this place has been here since 1956 and in 2003 wow. they were declared historic, historic cultural monument yeah so that means that they cannot ever knock this place down right like, this place will be here forever ever. it's been yeah. 70 years so far and they're still punching on so good they're to super them. cool so shout out to them let's hope the food is as good as the location yeah. it is which one do you want to do i think i'm gonna go this is eastern western yeah. okay i'm gonna go eastern okay so i'm gonna go sour Sauerkraut. This sauerkraut was actually like thrown on the grill, so it's got a little bit of charm to amazing. it. Amazing. It looks incredible. It does have a layer of mustard down here. With the West Coast versus East Coast right here. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, cheesy and chili. Hot dog has a great snap to it. Mmm. And I'll say. Mm. All these are beef dogs. So there's no pork in any of this. But the sauerkraut really it? enhances not, the flavor. We're not even sauerkraut bam. It really just reminds me of a Reuben. If you think about it, it kind of tastes like that. Tastes really good. Just complements the beef really nicely. Mmm, that thing sounds good. It's just too cheesy. I don't like the craft cheese down there. Two layers of it. You said cheese. Yeah, I didn't know that was a cheese. I thought maybe a sprinkle of cheese. Mm. Sauerkraut one for the whim. It is really interesting that this place is still maintained standing here for 70 years and it's just literally like a hole in the wall. It's literally like three different hot dogs and three different burgers and a couple like floats. Yeah, and the, and all of their stuff's just like written out very just. It seems very like 50s. And remember, cash only. This place doesn't accept credit cards. Okay. Boy, oh boy. I think it's safe to say, I'll take this first bite. Is that okay? So Double cheeseburger, we got. Pickles, tomatoes. Oh my. Double layer of chili. Right. It's in there and I hope it looks the same when it comes out because that looks delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, here goes nothing. Pass it, I want that cheesy bite. Well, it's good. I'm not gonna over exaggerate this. I think the sauerkraut hot dog was a little bit better. Mm. She blew this up to us like it was gonna be the best thing we've ever tasted. Uh -huh. The flavors kind of blend together a lot. They do. Because of the chili. I don't know, maybe they didn't season the burger. I don't know. But for me, it's just not popping enough. That sour kind of hot dog was unique the and it was tasty. It was really good. It's good. You know, this place oh. is definitely a nice little spot to get a quick hot dog if that's what you're into. I will say though, the first two places we had today- it Blows out of the water. Blows this place out of the water yeah. for good. Like, let's say which one was our favorite, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Huh. Huh. It is tough. I think I'm going to choose breakfast. Breakfast was my favorite meal of the day just because it was all that fresh bread really complimenting each of the meals differently and superbly. And I truly would go back to that spot now that I think about it. That place was amazing. It's not a date spot. You would never bring a date no there. No way. Maybe if she's trying to exchange some money and you might want to grab a snack. But besides that, I mean, I wouldn't take a date in any of these no, places to be probably honest. Probably not. But I will have to say the breakfast spot was amazing. I think lunch, though, the teriyaki Look bowls. Your heart. Oh, it's we'll just be back. for seven dollars for a little power bowl. Oh, you can't, can't turn beat that it. down. So there you have it, folks. We ate at the sketchiest restaurants we could find for 24 hours, and man. I am more surprised today than I was yesterday. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up, pick up the merch, brennantaylor.com. And until next time, I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous. Praying that I'll stop this. I'm so exhausted.